Hey guys, welcome back to MCM Fam. I'm so glad you're here with me again. So here in American Samoa, summer break is over. The kids are back in school. So we are getting back to our weekly videos. And for this week, I've got something a little bit different, but something special for you guys. So I'm here at the Filetti Barso Public Library here on Tutuila in American Samoa. And I'm just about to head in and do an interview with Justin Manga, the director of the library here. So it's a little bit different than most of the videos that we put out here, but it's for a good reason because this Friday, September 17th at 5 o'clock p.m. here at the Fleddy Barstow Public Library, we're going to be having a book signing where I'm going to be signing the brand new travel guide that I published a few months ago, Explore American Samoa. And so the library is hosting the event and so it's going to be a lot of fun we're doing it because we've had quite a few people asking if they could get their copies of the books signed and so as opposed to just doing one-off signings for individuals we're having a book signing we're making it a whole event here at the library and you guys are invited <laughs> and I know that a lot of you guys aren't here on island so because of that I want you to watch all the way to the end of the video because I have something special to let you guys know those of you who will not be able to be here on the island and make it to the event this Friday I've got a special offer just for you guys that I'll tell you about at the end of the video so I'm going to head into the library do this interview with Justin and then I'll see you back here afterwards for American Samoa. I have the pleasure today of having a conversation with author of Explore American Samoa, Melinda Clayville. Thank, thank you. you for, thank you for the opportunity to pick your brain, so to speak, as a self-published author. I'd like to know who is Melinda Clayville, the author? <laughs> well, I'm Melinda Clayville. <laughs> um, let's see, I've been living here in American Samoa with my family for just over four years now. And we just immediately fell in love with this place. And I knew that it was something that was worth letting people know about. I have a background in writing okay. and photography. And so I decided to put both of those to use and just started writing information down that could be helpful to visitors who come. So where did the inspiration for the guide come from? I have always just been very, very interested in travel and the world and places all over and getting to know places whether I get to visit them or not. Whenever I see a travel guide, I'll pick it up and thumb through it. And, and so we took a trip over to Australia after a couple of years of living here. And I just saw how easy they make it for visitors over there. There's all this information online, there's, you know, tons of travel guides to even uh -huh. specific places around in Australia and so we were sitting on a beach there in Australia just about to head back here and I was just thinking man I can't wait to get home for one thing uh -huh. and there needs to be something out there some kind of resource for people to make it a little bit easier for people to come visit American Samoa right. and I hadn't found anything like that yet. And so when we got back from that trip, that's when I started just kind of putting stuff together and okay. it just kind of developed into this. Okay, right. So you saw a need, it sounds like, right? You saw a need and decided to fulfill it through your writing, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen you do some writing here, right? Mm -hmm. what, what can what can Folletti Barstow Public Library take credit for? Is there any inspiration <laughs> Folletti Barstow Library could take credit for? Oh, for sure. Well, first off, in the book you will find some pictures. Okay, right. <laughs> from the the photo archive. From the photo archives uh -huh. that I was able to go in there and search through all of that, uh -huh. and a big part of that was you guys had these pictures up all around of 
these pictures from around the you know the turn of the century uh -huh. ni 1900 around the time that it became a territory up through like the 20s and through the 60s and and I just loved those old pictures of you know the beginning of the when it became a territory and what life was like back then. And you guys have a great selection of travel guides back there. That's one of my favorite places in the library. <laughs> and with COVID right now, you can't travel physically, but yeah. you can travel at your local library, at Folletsi <laughs> Barstow Public Library. So visit the Folletsi Barstow Public Library. What, what surprised you the most in doing the writing and the research? Was there anything, was there any one thing that surprised you the most my first vision that I had for this was, you know, maybe a little pamphlet kind of thing, just some basic information. But as I started writing it, I mean, American Samoa is a small group of islands, but it's got like so much to offer right. that I started driving, you know, I drove down every road on this island just looking for things that caught my eye that I thought, oh, that is really interesting. Mm -hmm. And the book, developed in, you know, what this small idea began with, developed into, an, you know, a full-on book. Right. And, and I, I must say, it's not, the way it's written, it seems like, because it goes from end to end, it goes west-east, then you go to uh, Onu, right, and, and, it, and it seems like a travel, like you actually rode down the roads and uh -huh. told them where, what's <laughs> what and where's where. This book, by the way, is available on iBooks. Yeah, Apple Books. Yeah. Apple Books. Sorry, excuse me. So let me let me. I, I do have it bookmarked here. So there's a lot of stuff in here, right? And like, and I'm a local, right? And I'm uh, and there's a lot of stuff in here that I myself, in all my years of being here, haven't done, haven't seen, haven't even, haven't heard. Yeah. Right. And then the historical perspective, and then some of the inserts you put in there of the legends and some of the places. You've done your due diligence in getting, you know, doing your research and all the stories that you know that are out there and and, and shared and. These areas, this is by Abayo, right? These areas of shoreline in front of Abayo are excellent spots for seeing the brilliance of bioluminescent creatures lighting up the inky black nighttime ocean. How did we come across that? <laughs> and, <laughs> so that was a personal experience okay. where we, we were actually celebrating New Year's Eve there a few, a few years ago out there with some friends from the village and and we were just you know having a little bonfire on the beach and we saw this light out in the ocean just right there along the shore and so we walked out there and you know just like bioluminescence uh -huh. does as we were walking in there it was lighting up and going out and lighting up all over the place there along the shoreline wow so I, so this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I've, I've seen it before and didn't notice it and didn't actually notice it. Yeah. Right? But uh, from your perspective, you knew it was, mm -hmm. you knew it was a creature. You knew it was, right? Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Well, you've done all the trails. I haven't done all the, you know, and, and a lot of them. And I, I already know the answer to some of these, but this, I, I think some people should know about, right? Or, yeah. Are your favorites. Right? <laughs> you you, you got it. Uh, on Tutuila, I mean, you, there's, and there's different levels of, trails and stuff and, and mm -hmm. for different um i don't know adventurous so to speak yeah but which would you which would you recommend right off the bat right off the bat for if if you're if you're local let's say you're a local and you haven't done <laughs> any of them right okay if you're a local and you've never hiked a single a trail single national park trail in or outside of the park i would suggest start with blunt's point okay yeah it's yeah it's like I a half mile <laughs> right. round trip. Uh -huh. And so it's up and back down, but up at the top, you've got the cannons. And I know there are people who just haven't been to that one. Right. Just haven't even reached those first cannons. Um, and just, of course, beautiful view out across uh, Fanga'alu and down to Fatimufuti. And then on the other side is down all along the harbor and all the way down into Pongo. And so great views, even just from that little little short hike right <laughs> um and then another easy one is in the national park and it's in vatia 
trying to remember what the name of the hike is, but it's at the very end of the road going to, you go through Vatia and you go until the road stops and it's, it's a hike, but it's really more of a nature walk. It's, you know, anybody could do it. And it's also really nice and short, but it puts you down right on the shoreline, um, right there at Cox Comb, right at Pola Island. Okay. And so you can look, you know, Pola Island is straight, straight up, up jagged cliff and you can look along it and, and along the trail, they've got, um, informational plaques where you can read about the animal life and the plant life that's native here to American Samoa. So it's okay. easy, it's, it's reachable and it's got really good information right there on, on the trail. What, what advice would you give aspiring authors? It's a good question. So aspiring authors. I think most of us have at least one book in our head right. that either we've started writing, like actually started writing, uh -huh. whether on, you know, type it out or write uh -huh. it out, or it's still just flopping around inside our brain waiting to come out. That would be my uh, first thing is just start. But I grab out my notebook. I mean, get a new notebook, make it a project, right. but get out a notebook. Or if you, if you want to tap it out on the computer, open up a new document mm -hmm. and just kind of let your brain start letting it out. It's in, it's inside there. Right. It's just waiting to come out. And so just start, you know, so whether it's fiction or nonfiction, once you get that initial brain dump of these ideas that you have, start organizing. So, you know, with this one, I just, I got that notebook. I started driving mm -hmm. around, like you said, and I just started taking notes of what I was seeing and what was jumping out at me. I started doing research into what kind of information um, other travel guides include and what kinds of things are really helpful for people visiting and started asking people and you know there's a there's a couple of pages of useful Samoan words mm -hmm. there in the back of the book and oh uh, yeah that's also you know it's right. it's useful and it's also interesting right there's always something more that you can put into it and as part of the organization process, just kind of look around at what you see other authors doing. And I like this, I don't like that. And I want, right. oh, I really like that. I really want that in, in my book, something like that. And, okay. and so, yeah, okay. it's the writing process. Yeah, yeah, I, I journal, uh -huh. right? I do a, a journal, a day, you know, a book and journal. And, and, you know, I, I, I've gone over some of the stuff I've written over the years, right? And I'm just like, dude, that's book material. Dude, that's, <laughs> but I, it's like I don't want to, I wouldn't publish it now while I'm, you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think this is my, my, my final question here. Yeah. Final question. Who would you like to see write a book locally that you would like to read? Okay. Whose biography locally <laughs> would you like to read? Is it, I'm going to tell you the first name that popped into my mind. Okay. Was Tisa. Tisa Famuli. Oh, you want that book. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, want you... to know her life story. <laughs> Ooh. Here in the States and then coming back here. Uh -huh. I, I want wow. every juicy detail. So, <laughs> Tisa, if <laughs> you're watching. <laughs> I, good one. I wasn't, expe I wasn't expecting like a, you know, a no, uh, political notable figure, but. You know. Also those two. Yeah. Just first thing that jumped into my mind. I know. I feel like mind. they should all, you know, <laughs> they they all have so much to pour, you know, into into writing and 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 leaving something behind, yeah. right? And like I, I feel like every governor should write a book, and every you know, I would be really interested in a Tongiola, you know, yeah. memoir or something, <laughs> right? Because he the longest standing governor, mm -hmm. or you know, he's been in the office for so long, right? He's got to have a ton of you know good stories in there right yeah. love to see lolo's book you know i would love to see i think every governor should have a book yeah right so melinda clayville is going to be available for a book signing here at folletti barstow public library on friday september 17th at 
5 o'clock. And so um, the first 10 people here are going to get a free copy of Explore American Samoa. Yay. Right, and assign, uh, there'll be a signed copy, obviously, with uh, Melinda going to be on hand. So um, if you're available, please come on down. You'll get a chance to meet uh, Melinda as well and, and chat with her and uh, get a look at, at, this, at this work. And it's really end-to-end -end, um, work and research that Melinda has done. And uh, we should really check it out. And I will even plug it and say these are great for off-island uh, family gifts and Christmas is right around the corner so that's <laughs> well I just gave all my family I just gave my gifts away for, you know yeah. you're all getting this book for, <laughs> you're all getting this book for Christmas so surprise. yeah surprise <laughs> if you already have a copy mm -hmm. bring it down and I would be so happy to sign it and we'll also have copies here available for purchase that you can that I can sign there for you too right and um, they're also available on Kindle mm -hmm. and uh, Apple Books. So uh, if, if that's your, your reading format preference, check it out there as well. And, and don't forget to check out the AmSam Fam Yay! videos. <laughs> this is, that's another great uh, resource to kind of explore American Samoa as well. Uh, tune in there and subscribe. Uh, they're... Is it weekly? Is it a weekly post you guys do? Or? Usually weekly. I yeah. got I got a little sidetracked during the summer, but okay. but yeah, they're starting next week. And it's going to be back to weekly. So well, <laughs> well, thanks again, Olinda, and we'll see you on Friday. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Justin. All right. Please join us, American Samoa. All right, guys. Interview is all done. I don't know what you guys thought. I had a lot of fun just chatting with Justin and answering his his questions, he had some good ones that I hadn't ever considered before. So I had fun answering them and I hope you guys had fun watching them. And I promised you that if you stuck around to the end of the video, I would let you know about a special offer. So if you order Explore American Samoa this Friday on September 17th, then you will get a special promotional price that's only good for that day. Now, because of time differences and everything, if you log in and it's not a special price, give it an hour or two. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, this is my first time running a promotion. And so there might be some bugs. Be patient with me. Message me on Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger um, to let me know if, if you're running into any problems, either by ordering through Amazon or on the Apple Books and I'll jump on and try to fix it. I hope that this goes off without any bugs, but it might just turn out to be a great big learning experience for me. So <laughs> be patient with us, please. But that is all for today. Next week, we will be getting back out for another adventure for you guys to see another really great, really special part of this island that we want to share with all of you. If you enjoyed today's episode, let us know if you want some more of these more interview style videos and we'll get to work on it. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future episodes because we want you guys here with us. All right, I'm going to say tofa soifua. I'll see you next week. <laughs>